I enjoyed childhood. Going out a big walk. Just showing up at your mate's door. Get in for your mate. Get in for somebody. Just battering the letterbox unannounced. <laughs> All right, Mrs Cassidy, it's Stu in. <laughs> I'm here to eat every crisp in this house. <laughs> His name's Stuart Kevin. Where is he? Stoop star! <laughs> That's when you discovered the love you had for your own family. I see the wee dweebs. Well, I actual hate my mum and dad. Fucking get the house then. <laughs> a sleepover. That's when you discovered how much you loved your own mum and dad. <laughs> when you went and spent an evening in another family. That was an eye-opener. We need that. The kids are too busy online. They're not socialising to this level. You need to go and spend time in another house. Discover you've got it good. That Saturday morning, returning home to your own house after a sleepover. Just want to cuddle your mum and dad. <laughs> As if you just served in Afghanistan, mum. <laughs> Dad, bring it in, big guy. I know I don't tell you a lot, but I love you. The Cassidy's are fucking weirdos. <laughs> so it would start off all right. You'd go in for stew. And then you're up in the bedroom, playing the computer. He's making you use an unofficial control pad that his grand bought him for Christmas. You're letting that slide, even though it's frustrating. You're through on goal, trying to shoot stew. Where's the square button? Stew, stew, stew. <laughs> Oh, it's not square, it's number nine on that pad. Fucking piece of shit. Fuck you, Stu, fuck you. <laughs> and his mum comes into the bedroom. Kevin, we're going to phone a, a Chinese. Would you like to stay for some Chinese? Fucking jackpot, of course. <laughs> of course I'll stay for some Chinese. You start to relax. I like this family. I reckon I could be a Cassidy. Everything's going to plan. <laughs> Friday night, home delivery. And you get shouted down the stairs. Made to set the table. They're setting the table for a home delivery. Again, letting it slide. This is the Cassidy's. It's no fucking Christmas day. But Phil, maybe this is their hang. Maybe they set the table for a home delivery. <laughs> and the food arrives. You don't recognise one fucking thing that they've ordered. <laughs> Not once was I consulted during the ordering process. <laughs> I know I'm 10, I know I'm a guest, but ordering a home delivery is a democratic process. But again, <laughs> Letting it slide. The dad's shown you the food. Okay, Kevin, this is the this is the king scallop Szechuan style. This is the kung pao lamb. This is the sweet and chili bean curd. This isn't the Chinese food, Mr. Cashty. We also had the yellow shit. We also had the <laughs> chicken balls, chips, curry sauce. <laughs> You'd get fucking laughed out of China for that shit, Mr. Cashty. <laughs> and he starts saying grace. The da thanking the Lord. For a home delivery, just fucking tip the delivery driver. Job done. <laughs> You're trying to plate yourself up some food. You're going to Mr. Cassidy. Um, where's the where's the rice? Oh, just just give us a few minutes on the rice, Kevin. It shouldn't be long. Oh, they never they never sent the rice. I hate when that happens, Mr. Cassidy. Oh no no no, Sheila's just boiling the rice. <laughs> oh, they sent it no boiled, Mr. Cassidy. <laughs> No, Kevin, they never sent anything. We don't order rice from the Chinese. I mean, why would we pay £2 for rice when there's a whole jar of rice on the worktop there? That would just be stupid, wouldn't it? Alarm bells are ringing. We're having fucking hush rice. <laughs> with a home delivery on a Friday night, we're having it with hush rice. <laughs> the evenings took a sinister turn. Glaring across the table at we do, I'm going to fucking expose you. <laughs> this is going to finish you, Stu, in school on Monday. This will be your nickname for eternity. A wee hoose race, even if you're <laughs> driving a Ferrari. Oh, he's driving a Ferrari, is he? Who? Hoose race. <laughs> finish the food, seeing the family, and I don't know if I could be a Cassidy. And you get made to wash the dishes. Kevin, why don't you make a little game of it? Stuart can wash them, you can dry them. Fucking great game, Mrs. Cassidy. <laughs> Non-stop scream in this house on a Friday night. <laughs> Maybe we can change ends at half, or is that a bit too out there? <laughs> and the gran arrives. You get dragged into the living room. 
Yeah, we always watch a movie together as a family, Kevin. It's just our little Friday night thing. Are you coming in? We're going to watch The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Have you seen it, Kevin? <laughs> no, Mrs. Castle, but I heard it's fantastic. I heard it's hilarious. Having to sit watching this fucking, how the fuck did I get out of here? I need to get home. <laughs> I need home. Home. I'm homesick. I'm only four streets away. I'm fucking homesick. <laughs> Kevin, why don't you just phone your dad and see if you can stay overnight? That would be nice. Have a wee sleepover. How the fuck do I imagine that, Kev? The overnight package with these freaks. <laughs> you, Kevin, phone your dad. This is before mobile phones. You had to use the living room phone. The whole family are sitting there. And then, phone your dad, Kevin. Phone your dad. The hand that rocks the cradle's been paused. They're all listening into your phone call. <laughs> Ask if you can stay overnight. You're on the phone to your da, solely dependent on your tone to give across to your da that you're being held against your will. <laughs> this is going to take an acting performance, Kev. We need out of here. This isn't a family. This is a cult. Phone <laughs> your dad, Kev. my dad. I'm trying to get a bit of lump in the throat going. Hold on, my dad hears I'm crying comes and rescues me. Where are you, Kevin? I'm going to come and don't fucking do him. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I'm just, he's ringing, he's ringing. Oh. <laughs> Hi, da, da, Dad? <laughs> Dad, is it all right if I stay overnight at Stuart Cassidy's house? <laughs> of course it is, Kevin. You have a great night. Your dad's no fucking getting it at all. <laughs> Daddy, you sure I've got no plans in the morning? I thought I had some plans. Do you know, say something about add something on. Nothing on in the morning, Kevin. It's a Saturday morning and you're fucking ten years old, pal. No plan. <laughs> that was it. You'd signed up. You were one of them for the evening. <laughs> Kevin, unpause the movie. I, I think it's you that's got the duffer, Mr Cassidy. It's me who's got the what? The duffer. The duffer. Is that what you call the remote control? The doofer? He's fucking laughing. The ma's laughing. The whole family. We hoose rice is laughing. They're all laughing at you. They're ripping the piss out you, Kev. The doofer. The doofer. <laughs> fucking hook the da, Kev. Hook the da. <laughs> Take the whole family out. One jab to the da. No family recovers from a jab to the da. <laughs> the doofer. They fucking knock him out, Kev. And you're nudging me, Stu. One will go up to the bedroom. One will go up. Who strikes? One will go to bed. <laughs> and the dad catches you. Are you trying to get Stuart to go to bed with you, Kevin? There's just something you're not telling us. <laughs> you're on thin ice, Mr. Casty, you old bastard. <laughs> Eventually, up to the bedroom. Wee who strikes just goes to sleep straight away. You're left alone on his floorboards inside a Scooby Doo sleeping bag. <laughs> You haven't even got a pillow, you've got a cushion off the couch with a zip on your neck, you haven't turned it. <laughs> Alone, breathing in their family smell, their house smell. <laughs> the whole family smell the same. I recognise that smell. That's the way he smells when I sit beside him in school. I wonder if he stunk out the house or the house stunk him out. I wonder what came first. <laughs> Listen to these noises. How fucking loud is your bedroom clock, house rice? Ticking away every second of this torture. I need out of here. I wonder what time I can leave here. I think five in the morning's a bit early. <laughs> That's the target, Kev. Five in the morning. Anybody catches you try to leave. You're not going to stay for breakfast, Kevin. <laughs> I wonder what you get for breakfast on this shit. Oh, wonder. <laughs> what would you like for your breakfast, Kevin? Oh, maybe, maybe some eggy bread. Eggy bread? Is that what you call French toast? Oh, that shite starts again. <laughs> Oh, the fucking house rices, he's laughing at you. <laughs> You're not going to stay, Kevin. We're going to have Alpen. Do you like Alpen? Mm, yes, Mrs Cassidy. I love nothing better on a Saturday morning than a big bowl of Alpen. That's what gets me through the week. Mm. <laughs> Get something in that frying pan, you fucking boot. <laughs> <laughs>